Welcome to Testing PHP from Gary Clark Tech. Let me tell you what this course is all about. The goal of this course is to show you how to achieve clean code with maximum test coverage. So it may differ somewhat from other testing resources you've seen, whether that be on testing PHP or testing software in general, because the strategy tends to be to show people how to use the tools and using fairly simplistic examples. And there's nothing wrong with that approach because I've myself I've recorded videos where I'm showing people how to use the tools using fairly simplistic examples and it is probably the best way to show someone how to use the tools. But learning how to use the tools is not learning how to test because you're not learning how to write code which is testable, you're not learning how to refactor code to make it more testable, and you're not learning how to approach different problems from a testing perspective. And so there's a much bigger problem to solve and that's what this course aims to address. We're going to approach testing from different angles. We will start out in the traditional manner. I'll show you how to use the tools and how to configure them for your specific needs. And then what we'll do is we'll take a small application, which will just be a handful of small files that I'll provide. And it'll contain no tests, but it will contain some problems which need solving that provide a challenge to testing. And so we're gonna try and gain maximum test coverage using a combination of unit tests, integration tests, and feature tests, which are sometimes also called functional tests. Throughout this, we're gonna practice a load of stuff which will make you a good developer and a good tester. And so we're talking about things such as refactoring code to make it more testable, using fake objects. Testables can be a confusing subject. So I'm gonna make it really clear for you. I'll show you what you should fake, why you should fake it, when, and how to do it. And I'll also, we'll talk about some of the terminology such as mocks and stubs. Is there a difference between the two? What is that difference? We'll also look at things like static methods. Are they really an evil thing that is impossible to test? All of this will be explained. In our integration tests, we'll consider how we can test parts of our application which communicate with external services that are outside of our control. So we're talking about things such as third-party APIs, which is all part of modern uh, software development, modern web development. We'll also examine database integration and test that the correct records can be stored in and retrieved from a database. And while we're on that subject, we'll also consider the structure of our application and see how writing good tests can sort of point us in the direction of actually creating a more logical structure and a better separation of concerns. And so we'll also add some new code to our application, which will be backed up by tests. And we'll finish off that part of the course by adding feature tests, which will cover the whole process from end to end, and that will give us maximum test coverage. That will lead us nicely into an examination of code coverage, where I'll show you how you can use tools in order to generate code coverage reports. And then I'll show you how you can read these reports in order to see where you have good test coverage and which parts of your code don't have sufficient test coverage. And I'll also explain some of the limitations of code coverage reports, code coverage tools, and why code coverage does not mean the same thing as functionality coverage or logic path coverage. Up to that point, we'll mainly have tested code, which was already written, and we'll have written and refactored code in order to make it more testable. And these are important skills to have, definitely ones that you'll need. However, at this point in the course, we're then gonna flip things on the head, and we're gonna build a mini application from scratch using test-driven development. The big difference here will be that we're gonna write the tests first, and then we write code to make those tests pass. And then the code which we have written will guide us and inform us on what tests we need to write next. This part of the course was a lot of fun to research and record. The application that we'll build will be able to take different amounts of money in different currencies. You'll be able to add them together, multiply them, do all kinds of things, and then reduce them back down to a single currency and a single monetary amount. And so if that sounds familiar to you, it's because I've borrowed that example from a book called Test Driven Development by Example, 
by a developer called Kent Beck. It was originally written in Java and I've converted it to modern PHP. And it's a really good example for demonstrating this stuff because the problem is complex enough to make it very interesting, but at the same time, the other smaller problems which it throws up are nice ones for being able to explain TDD concepts and also the thinking behind TDD quite clearly. And we'll finish up with a nice clean application with a minimal code base and complete test coverage. I'm 100% confident that you'll be able to take what you've learned in that section, walk away and apply it and solve any problem which is thrown at you. Test room development can and probably will make you a better developer. In fact, just learning to test well, learning how to combine different approaches such as the ability to test already existing code with the ability to drive out functionality with tests, all of these things will make you a better developer. And I'll be totally frank with you, Learning to test well, you will work a lot less hard than the developers that don't. You'll spend a limited amount of time revisiting code or revisiting work which was already done and that you believe to be complete. Limited time on bug fixing. It'll just be clean code, peace of mind, respect from your colleagues. Your work won't feel like work. It's all good. Let's dive in.